Hello guys and welcome back! In today's videos, uh, as always it's been a long time and sorry about that, but you know. Uh, in today's video we are gonna watch how to create this DIY uh, dashboard for your simulator. It's pretty easy, it's pretty simple and all the files are, are available for free on printables and I will put the link down in the description. So, let's begin. Um, list of things you need to have. Uh, a phone, preferably an old one that you know use. An Arduino Nano. Uh, some LED strips uh, with 3 pin. Uh, there are the electricity, the positive side, the ground side, and the data side. The, the data side. Ooh, the data pin. <laughs> and um, with that, you also need four M4 screw. Uh, of 20 millimeter and uh, preferably a 3d printer at home so you can do like a bit of test and error for uh, to see if everything come together so uh, now we're gonna watch how to build it it's pretty easy and you don't need to worry too much so so basically uh, what you want is this you need cmob um, and you need to go on dash studios so we can connect our phone to um, the cmob application uh, so basically what you want to do is click and start and go on tablet or phone i advise you to have an android phone because it's much easier you have the application and uh, when this is done you can also scan the qr or download the app uh, in sim app uh, now you see here my uh, private ip so mm, not much to worry about is uh, on the local uh, web uh, but um, I advise strongly advise you like I do uh, like I did to change your IP from a dynamic IP to a static IP just because so you can basically have uh, the same IP all the time and you don't need to reconnect your phone to your PC uh, for doing that you just need to go on settings uh, no, sorry to do that you just basically need to go on settings uh, web and internet and depending on what you are I'm on internet and just change the EP like modify and go here and modify your EP now let's say um, this is the easy part you have basically a function in dashboard uh, also advised to download lovely dashboard for the site I will put also the link in the description and you basically have a working dashboard So now that we have connected our phone, we pass at the much more, is always easy, easy, but we start with the much more complicated part. And the complicated part is basically um, programming in a big way the Arduino. So uh, first of all, we're gonna need the, on her Arduino nano board, we need to solder a cable uh, on the 5 watts, uh, a cable on the ground and a cable on the data pin. Um, we want to slip the cable and connect the cable to our RGB LED strips uh, according to their pin, uh, uh, in this case ground 5 watt and um, a data pin. Um, as always check that the strips is on 5 watt because if it's not it's a bit of a problem well now we solder the things when we need to solder okay uh, so basically what we're gonna do is go on the cmap and uh, my hardware and open the arduino tool the arduino tool will open and we are gonna select the put loader and the com the part basically and we are gonna select understand uh, blah 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 you don't want to click here for now now what we want to do is go here um, go on these uh, things 
and simply put the number of lead of or uh, in her lead strips so basically um, in this case we want to put uh, we, we we do an example we have 10 leads in our lead strips so we're gonna put 10 in here okay that said we are gonna select a din or a digital pin number um, this is why uh, before I tell to wait to select the digital pin number. We basically need now to select one of the pin that you see in yellow on CMAP. Uh, this is why um, the data pin with the yellow uh, are the one that are digital and PVM. So uh, they um, send power and digital data. We need that because uh, the RGB uh, necessitates for it. So we are going to select one of these. Uh, you can select the 11, 10, 9, 6, 5 or 3. Uh, I select 6 and we are going to put the encoding of our RGB strips. Um, don't worry if you get it wrong uh, in the sense that you when you are going to select the color you see maybe you select green and you see yellow isn't a problem. You come back here and change the encoding and it's all done. Once you have selected and put this data correctly, you simply click on upload to Arduino and CMAB will start a script to upload the data on your Arduino. And this is it. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. Okay. Once you have done it, um, your Arduino will appear here and you go, in this case, on your RGB LED settings. Here you can modify and prepare all the things you want. So let's say you have 10 LEDs and you want an RGB um, RPM strips. Basically what you want to do is go in uh, here, add an effect um, and click on RPMs. Now you, you select your starting position for the LED. In the case of 10 strip LED, you want to select one, and you start uh, and you select the end position 10. You can set the color and a couple of other settings. You can try it out and everything in here. Once you've done it, you have uh, your RGB ready to go. Now, for the assembly part is pretty is a straightforward. The most complicated part is the one with the Arduino, but like you see, it's pretty easy, not too much to, to do. Uh, for the assembly part, you basically need to uh, put all together. You take your front plate, uh, put the phone in, take the brackets, uh, put the brackets in, screw the screw, uh, and put the LED strip in there. Um, one advice I can give you is to put some scotch, uh, electrician scotch preferably, by, oh, behind the, the LED strips so you can hold them in place firmly. You can also glue them, but uh, I not advise it because if there is some problem, you need to like pretty break it to remove them. So the scotch is the best solution. Once you have all uh, assembled, you can take your backplate and basically close it everything, close all, connect your USB port from the side uh, and you are good to go. You have a perfectly functioning DIY dashboard that is look cool in my opinion, it's pretty cool, pretty neat and uh, yeah you can also modify it to make it smaller. Um, uh, I will like it a little bit smaller but um, it's my like first print so I will keep it because I affectionate to it. So yeah basically this was the tutorial and the video is not too long, it's not too short, it's just something you can watch and do at home if you wanna um, like don't spend too much money on uh, a dashboard uh, that are like expensive for no reason at all because it's just a screen and a bunch of LEDs so yeah that is it uh, I hope it helped you and I wish you all a great day see you guys